Susan Berry said her son TJ was a star athlete with all A's and determined to go to dental school. The family first noticed the weight loss when he took off his shirt at a pool party the summer going into ninth grade. That was when I saw him and he came in and I'm like, TJ, how much weight have you lost, bud? I said, you look way too skinny. Susan Berry didn't waste any time. She was on the phone the next day to try and figure out what was wrong with her son. The doctor's response was that TJ had an eating disorder and so began an eight-year battle with a disease that took over his mind, relationships, and his health. TJ's heart gave out on Valentine's Day in 2007 at the age of 22. When they sent home 22 boxes from Marquette University, one of the boxes contained his lockbox. It was journals, photographs he had taken of himself, poetry that he had written. Susan compiled his story into a book, Dying to be Perfect, intended as a guide for parents and she hoped had the ability to save other people that were struggling with this disease. However, one of the biggest problems Susan said they faced with TJ was finding the right person to turn to for help. A healing place opened in Jackson, Michigan this year with an eating disorder clinic named after TJ and another girl, Britt, who both lost their lives to eating disorders. Britt and TJ's place has therapists that have overcome eating disorders themselves and can relate to their clients. Knowing, you know, what it does to your mind and um, the behaviors of it is like we can see it, we can understand it. We can give them hope that recovery is possible. Susan Berry said that one of the best parts about having Britt in TJ's place is she now has somewhere to send the concerned parents and individuals that show up at her front door. I think it gives a story and I think it helps people relate to just the sorrow that comes with this illness, but also the legacy of their families and of Britt and TJ and the hope that their families want to have for other individuals to survive. I showed that this could be anybody's kid. No one ever called me up and said, we're really worried about TJ. That's how good he was at hiding it. And that's how low the awareness is. Susan said she knows TJ had more to give than the 22 years he was on this earth. So he continues to live on by affecting and saving lives every day. In Meridian Township, Melissa Sebring, Home TV.